Welcome to the HIT class. My name is Leah. Uh, we are going to do a body weight only, but full body workout. I'm gonna do the low impact exercises. This is Amanda. She's gonna do the higher impact exercises. So you can choose between the two or a combination, whatever works for you. So we're gonna start with a little warm up. And we're gonna get going. All right. All right. Let's hope it's not going to shut off. Okay, so let's start with just a little movements. Just shake it out. We're going to start with six exercises, 30 seconds each exercise. Start with about 10 seconds, just moving the body around. Four, three, two. We're going to just do a little jog now. Start to lift your feet up, move your arms around. Start nice and easy. Only it was always easy. Okay, five seconds, we're going into squats. Three, two, one, squats. Enough. Reaching your hips back. Keeping the core squeezed as you move. Nice. Five seconds. Left foot forward, right leg back. Right knee comes into the chest. Slightly forward, all the way goes into that left foot. Knee pulls up into the chest. Keep moving through it. 15 seconds. Five seconds, then we just move to the other side. Same exercise. Three, two, one, right leg forward, left knee into the chest. Stick with it 15 seconds ago. Good. Five, four, three. We're doing an inch work. Bend up the waist, walk to a plank, one push up, walk back, arms up overhead. Option knees down and push up if you need that. Again, it's just the warm up. Take it easy. <laughs> As I say, making you push up in the warm up. Okay, five seconds. We're holding the plank. Three, two, into that plank. Hold, and we're just tapping right and left toes forward. Like a real slow mo mountain climber. Arms stay strong the whole time. Just the legs doing the movement. Option, just hold your plank if you need to. Five seconds, four, three, two, we're gonna come back up. We're gonna go back to the jog. We do it all over our time. On to set two, warm up, done after this. So everything once more. Good, about five seconds and back to squat. Three, two, one, here we go. Make sure we're not pushing your knees forward, reaching the hips back, like you're showing your butt to someone. Maybe it's your cat, <laughs> your roommate. Okay, keep it up. Three, two, we've got that knee pull, left leg, right knee, in. Good. Keep that slight bend out the waist. Arms reach forward, and then reach toward the knee. A little 
Stability on that left side. 15 seconds. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Five, four, three, two, other side. Right into it. Here we go. Really nice. Definitely feeling warmer. 15 seconds. Keep it up. Good. Last five. Four, three, two, and we're walking to the push up. Bend out the waist. Here we go. Okay, we got 15 seconds more, then we're finishing in that plank position. Good. Five, four, three, two, holding the plank. We've got those toe taps again. Here we go. Right butt. Maybe with a little faster pace than the first round. Fingers are spread wide. Hands under the chest, under the shoulders. Last 15 seconds. Awesome, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Nice, okay. Warm up done. Ready to move on to the full part of the workout. Okay, looking for us to get a little air go over here. All right, four blocks of hit. If you do it enough, you probably know the setup already. I'll just say it anyways. Four blocks total, every block a different focus. So first block, power and speed. A little bit of plyometrics, a little bit of quickness with the body. Four exercises, 30 seconds each exercise, 30 second break after that. You've got three sets total, same four exercises. First one I'll show you, then we'll get going. Every other exercise, I'll show you as we go. So once you see me or Amanda do it, hop right in, see where you can take it. All right, round one, plyometrics and speed. First exercise before we start, it's a reaction drill. So we're gonna start with a high knee run. So when I say squat, right into a squat, right back up to high knees. Ready? Three, two, one. High knee run or march, right? Two options. Squat, down, back, right away. A little bit of speed and power together. Squat, back up, back up. Squat, nice, keep it up. Squat, four, three, two. Right into side to side floor hops. So you're either lifting and landing or you're stepping like me. Okay, two options. But make sure that when you land, your hips go down to your heels so you have all that power. You're lifting up and over. Yes, it's core, it's lower body. You got five seconds to go. Four, three, heel it. Okay, a little bit of speed here. Left leg forward, right leg back, set. And when I say sprint, we run. Sprint, moving quickly. Like you're running a race. Set, back down. Sprint, go. Really nice. Couple of reaction drills in this block. Set. Sprint. Keep it up, keep it up. Sprint to the end. Let's go. Four, three, two, three hops forward, one tuck jump. Three hops forward with tuck jump. One, two, three. Knees up and land. Three back. Option. One knee up. If you don't want to hop forward, little steps back. Keep it lower impact. See that touch up. Knees nice and high, right to the chest, and we'll rest in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Shake those legs out. Those floor hops are killer. The touch up. It's all. A killer first block, good job. So, 
You can always do a little bit of what both of us are doing. You do a couple tuck jumps, need a rest, do a couple walks, and then finish strong. See where you can continue to progress the movement. Set two, starting with the high knee, squat reaction. Here we go, high knees. Set two right away. Nice and quick, lifting the knees, squat. Back up, back up. Squat. Keep it up, keep it up. Squat. It's like we know what's coming next. Squat. Three, two, side to side floor hops. Here we go. You're doing a lower impact version. One foot jumps and the other follows. But the hips still come down to the heels. The shoulders still stay on top of the wrists as you lift up and over. Who finish it? Five seconds. Four, three, two, and we're up. Right leg forward set. Sprint. Go. Speed move. Get rid of some of that burn in your lower body. Set. Sprint. That's it. Use arms to help you. Set. Spread. Go. Finish the sprint. After this, three hop forward, tuck jump. In four, three, two, one. Set it up. Here we go. Last 30 seconds. Three hops forward. One tuck. Nice. Either both knees are lifting or one knee. Or a little bit of ball. Keep it up. Keep that power. Push from the floor. Land soft from this tuck jump. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Well, if you're thinking, what the hell is this block? You only have to do each exercise one more time. Okay. Set three. It's your best set yet. Give it all that you've been holding back. Very end, we're gonna do one extra exercise for one whole minute and then we'll take a longer break. So last three minutes of work before a water break, we're gonna push it. Ready? Okay, high knee squat reaction. Here we go. Set three. Keeping that speed, squat. Back. Squat. Even if I'm modifying, I am still burning, sweating. Woo, squat. Keep those high knees a little faster. Four, three, just one more time side to side on the floor. Let's go. So you can stick with it for the whole 30 seconds. You've got this. If you haven't tried those two legs together, give it a try now. You never know until you try. Woo, lower body burning. Finish it strong. She's got it. Five seconds. Four, three, two. And one, left leg forward, set, sprint. Okay, right into it. Right leg forward, set, sprint. Left leg forward, set, sprint. Go, nice speed, keep it up. Woo! Right leg forward, set, sprint to finish. Five, four, three, two. Last one, three hops, tuck jump. I want that tuck jump. Knees, nice and high, right to the armpits. Soft landing on those smaller hops. Keep it up, keep it up. Woo! Big exhale as you lift the knees up. You got five seconds. Four, three, two. Last 60 seconds. We start with a sprint. It's another reaction drill. You can join me when I say lunge, jumping lunges, or stepping lunges. Lunge, go. Good. We're just moving lunges. So let's say sprint, sorry. Okay, back to your sprint, go. Lunge. 30 seconds left. Stepping through, 
We're pushing that power. It's a power block. Sprint, go. Woo. Lunge, go. She's got it. Dropping the back knee down. Finish, drop. Woo. You got five seconds. Stick with those lunges. Four, three, two, and one. It's like a big spotlight. <laughs> awesome. Take your rest. That is a big lower body block right there. Ton of power, but we made it. Smooth sailing throughout, I think. <laughs> I hope. All right, so here's your rest. Just make sure you focus on your breath. Get a little sip of water in there. Try not to sit down. Stay up. Because we're going right into block two. Same makeup of the block. Four exercises, 30 seconds each. Now we're uh, focusing on strength, stability, lower body, upper body strength, core stability, a little bit of everything in there. All right. First exercise I'll show you before we get going, then we can get started. We're gonna start with a V push up. So you kind of bend at the waist, make a little V with your body. Hands turn in towards each other. We're gonna drop our forehead towards the floor, bend the elbows, and press up. Yes, let's get it going. Here we go. So the modifier here is to just bend a little less, right? You really wanna reach down to the floor, like your forehead's gonna touch, you're kind of hanging your head. But if you need to just move a little smaller, totally fine. Working your shoulders, getting your back nice and ripped. Keep it up. Four, three, two. We're gonna come up. We've got three pulses and a squat heel clip. So we go one, two, three, heel clip. One, two, three, little lift. It's a very soft, small jump option. No heel click, maybe a little hop. Maybe lifting the heels, keeping the toes on the floor. One, two, three. Nice. Good, four seconds, we take it into alternating curtsy squats. Leg comes behind the right, right leg comes behind the left. We keep the upper body tall. Imagine if you have a little dress on, you're doing a curtsy, yeah? I believe that's why it's called that. Okay, this works a little more inner thigh. After this, one final exercise. Four, three, two, we come into a plank position. We're gonna do a stability plank, reaching the left toe towards the right hand to tap opposite hand to foot. I'm gonna keep those hips parallel to the floor, keeping that stability in the core. Hands come right under the chest, and we put it back on the ground. Legs lock along behind you, with both feet are on the floor. Nice. Breathing through it, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, nice work. Lock two. I'll focus and be sweating even more on this particular block. All right, every set, we get a little better at it. Doing it more, your body knows what to do. Be push-ups in about five seconds. Set two and three, two, one, let's do it. Bending at the waist, down low. Big exhale as you push back up. Forehead dropping towards the floor. Fingers slightly facing each other. Maybe not all the way, but a little diagonal. You got five seconds. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Three pulses. Heel click. Here we go. One, two, three. Lift. Landing on the ground, you barely hear your feet touch, right? So when you're landing, you're landing right in that squat position. Hips sit back, push into the heels, so lift up. Remember your options. Good, five seconds. 
Then right into curtsy squats. Three, two, alternating. Hands on waist or hands to chest. Dropping that back knee down to the floor. Pushing through that front heel to lift back up again. Nice. Big exhale as you come back up to stand. Five seconds. We finish with the stability. Toe touch. Here we go. Down to the floor. Alternating. Now this isn't, are you not there yet? Just do the leg portion. Kind of like our warm up. Only the leg comes slightly across your body. Or maybe just take it a little slower. Keeping the belly pulled towards the spine. Core engaged. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Another one done. Good work. Woo! Yeah. You can feel all through your back those push ups. Yeah. All right. Set three, you know it's coming. Your best set, and one extra minute. Another rest. We're halfway through the workout. So let's go for it. Five seconds, B push up. Three, two, one. Bend and go. Really nice. Think about your elbows pushing outward. Can you reach your head to almost touch the floor? Getting a little deeper. Couple more, stay with it. Five seconds, four, three, two. We made it. Three pulses, heel click. Here we go. One, two, three. Soft landing. Nice. Good. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three. Look in those heels if you can. Finish it. Let's go. Three, two, curtsy. Here we go. Maybe we try to pick that pace up just a little bit here. Oh, we're so in unison. <laughs> Woo! Stick with it. Good five seconds. Four, three, two, stability, toe touch. Here we go. I know you're concentrating, but try not to hold the breath. Think about the exhale as you tap the toe. And the inhale as the hand goes back to the floor. Almost there. In our last 60. Seconds, three, two, we're staying here. We're taking it to the forearms for a low mountain climb, yeah? So shoulder step on top of the elbows, plank position, knees are running in. You can also take it slower, driving the knees in, or alternating between a few. Can you stick this whole 60 seconds at this pace Amanda's got going? Check your shoulders, make sure they don't slide back. Try not to let your hips lift too high. You've got 30 seconds left. I want you to keep that run. I want you to keep that movement. We're going for it. Woo! That is the point of the power move. To push it just a little longer. Give yourself a little more than you thought you could. Finish it here. You've got 15 final seconds. And we rest. Stay with it. Stay with it. Seven, six, five. Long man to four, three, two. One, yeah, well done. Woo! Another sweaty block done. Woo. All right. Take that breath again. Get some water. Halfway there. Ready to work another block. While you catch your breath, a little bit of block, about to block three. Uh, we're working on agility and coordination. Quick movements with the feet, agility, coordination. Arms and legs moving at the same time 
couple of exercises smushed into each other, yeah? So a little bit about the brain working with the body to move. Maybe some side to side movement as well, so it might get a little crazy. You don't have a lot of room in your apartment. Just make it work for you. That's all we're gonna do. Okay. You're like, what? Yeah, are we that note? Uh, yeah, all right. Block three. First one we're gonna do is a single leg hop. So you're standing on one leg and you're just hopping forward back, almost as if you were hopping over a line on the floor. We're just gonna stay like that. On the right leg only, here we go, 30 seconds. Forward back. If maybe it doesn't work for you, like I don't think it's gonna work for me on the other leg, you can do a little kick and just stay on that right leg with a little bounce, yeah? Working the calves, woo, yeah. Five seconds, four, three, two. We're going back to a plank position. We've got two oblique knees touching the elbows. If you can, one hike up. Knee, knee, hike up. Knee, knee, hips lift up. Option without that pike up, down dog, plank. Knee, knee. Nice, just like this. Almost there, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. We're going into something called a hop, hop runner. Two hops, land on one leg, bend at the waist, and hold. This one's a little tough, my injury, I'm gonna let Amanda take it over. But you're landing in that single leg deadlift position. A little bend at the waist, just one hold for a second, working the glutes, inner thighs. Five seconds and we're on our last exercise. It's called a suicide burpee. Whatever space you got, you're gonna run to one end. Burpee on the hand, run to the other end, burpee. Just for the sake of keeping our distance, lucky Amanda gets to do this one on her own. She's got it. So, whatever space you got, even if you don't have a lot of space, run in place, turn, turn. Five seconds, four, three. She's speeding up, I love it. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, told you it might get a little crazy. Your neighbors are thinking, what is going on up there? Okay, shaking it out. Looking good. So, set two, now we're gonna hop on our left, forward back. Let me sit that one out. Okay, five seconds, four, or I'm modifying, two, and one. So, hopping forward back on the left leg, bounce with a kick. And even if an exercise doesn't work for you, you can always do another exercise and step that does work for your body. Got knee issues and lunges don't work for you, you go through squats. As long as you're moving through it, perfect. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Oblique knee, pike up, here we go. Your option of that down dog. Good. Gonna bring those knees to the elbows. You can feel your obliques crunching as you bring the knees forward. Four, three, two. We've got that hop, hop runner side to side. Using that same space that you're using for the suicide burpee. Nice. This is also stability, right? So squeeze your core while you're bending up the weights. Nice. Looks good. Maybe you try to speed it up a bit. About five seconds more. And then she's gonna stay moving laterally and turn it right into the suicide burpee. Here we go. Quick, 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 quick run and switch. Options, step into the plank. Step back up. Do whatever version keeps you moving. Last 15 seconds, man, she's killing it. The beauty of having a whole space of a gym to yourself. Five seconds more. Four, three, two, 
one, press it. Killer. Block three, always fun. If you don't agree, then you only have to do it one more time anyways. Yeah. Plus one extra minute to finish it off. So last time, all of these exercises, really working hard. Try to stay moving the whole 30 seconds. If you feel like stopping, that is your time to modify. Ready? Right leg, hop in. Forward back. Maybe try to move a little quicker on this one because we're going to switch half leg. In three, two, other leg. Forward back. Nice. Modifying. Five, four, three, two, and one. Two knees, one leg up. Here we go. Get down. Straight legs in the pike up. Hips up to the ceiling. Small little hop, doesn't have to be too big. Woo! Four, three, two. Taking it into that hop, hop runner. Here we go. Exercise three. Nice. Maybe you're challenging yourself. As you're hop hopping, to so hop hop a little faster, but maybe try to cover more distance if you've got that. All right, almost there. Five seconds, four, three, two, a speedy suicide burpee to finish it. Woo! All that space. If this were me at home, I'd just be running around my kitchen. <laughs> Good. 15 seconds, your cats would really be one of the things you were doing. <laughs> okay. Five seconds. Four, three, two. Power move. One minute. Similar to something we've already done. Plank position. Knee, knee. Push up, high jump. That's it. Plank. Join me when you're ready. Push up can also be on the knees if you need. High jump or just a big high reach. So you choose wherever you're at, maybe you try a few, as powerful as you can, do that as long as you can, and then start to modify from there. You're already halfway through a minute. So you only have 30 seconds left. How many of these reps can you get done in a big high reach to the ceiling or sky, wherever you're working out? Almost there. Woo! You got 15 seconds right here. I want you to really push it. Two more reps, get them in there. Three more reps, five seconds. Finish it strong, four, three, two, one, killer. Really wish I could give her a real high five right now. Something about the air five, not super satisfying. <laughs> but, awesome work. You made it to the core round. Usually feels like a good thing. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Same thing goes in the core round. Four exercises, each one 30 seconds and then a 30 second rest. Everyone's got different bodies when it comes to the core work, so we gotta keep it safe for ourselves. We have lower back issues, listen for some cues. Try out what I say, see where it feels best for you. Don't do anything that doesn't feel good. Not worth it. You can always squeeze knees to a chest, take a break, and then reset. You don't want to sacrifice your core just to keep moving, so. Always that's the case. All right, we're gonna start on the forearms. With a corkscrew, legs in the air, circle down, up hold, circle down, and up again. Here we go. The bigger the circle, the more challenge for the core. It's modified, smaller circles, and you're always reversing the direction of the circle at the top. Another modification. Head on the floor, maybe hands under the butt, higher circles to the ceiling. Five seconds. Three, two, 
Come down, we're gonna go into a bicycle. Twist in, flat back on the floor, opening the chest, but feeling the belly button, pulling down to the spine. Keeping the chest lifted, reaching the elbow across the body, to the outside of the knee. Five seconds, four, three, two, Okay, hands go behind the legs. We're gonna roll up to a teaser hold. Okay, and we're just gonna do a little teaser pulse. Knees, chest, in, in. Too much for you? Feet down, one leg at a time. Okay, I know this is tough. Belly is pulling the spine. It's meant to be tough. 15 seconds more. Up. Woo! Sick of it. Good. Get five, four, three, Two, last one, on the forearms. I like to call this one a booty rainbow. So you're on your forearms, feet are on the floor. We're lifting the hips up and over. It's almost like you're rolling on your toes and dropping your hip as close to the floor as you can, drawing a nice big rainbow with your booty. Yeah, side to side. Bigger the drop, more work for the obliques. You have five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. All right, that's one set. We'll just reset. So wherever you want to be, a little stretch. Okay, we got 15 seconds. We go again. Down to the sunbather or down to your head on the floor. Okay. We can make those circles a bit bigger this time. Three, two, one, let's go. So, should take the same time to drop the legs as to lift them back up. So really keeping the control of the legs here so that your core is working against resistance. You don't want to swing the legs up or down. The chin is lifted away from the chest. Feeling like those lower abs working. Four. Three, two, knee squeeze to chest, go right into the bicycle. Here we go. Modification is to just kick the legs a little higher to the ceiling. You never want to feel space under your spine, under your lower back. Keep it moving. Woo! Get five, four, three. We squeeze one more time, then we're gonna roll up, double, you can stay here, our little pulses in, in. Good, chest is lifted, woo! Not an easy one, right? Lift it up, bring it in. Almost there, woo! Five, four, three, two, one! Flip it over, we've got that booty rainbow to finish on the forearms. I feel like it's also called a low plank hip drop, right? But doesn't booty rainbow sound so much cuter, nicer? It just makes you like the exercise when normally I wouldn't. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one rest. Awesome. Okay, coming on to our final block. We've got those four exercises we've done already. One new exercise for a minute. We'll take a little break. We're gonna do our finisher like we always do, and then we're done. Rest of the workout lasts six minutes total. Three minutes, rest, three minutes, and we're done. That's easy after all we've done. So, corkscrew. Three, two, one. How low can you drop those legs towards the floor without touching? And how straight can you keep the legs? How big can you make your circle? Woo. Five seconds. Three, two, knee squeeze, bicycles. Here we go. Maybe a challenge here is to get the legs a little lower to the floor. 
Maybe you pick up the pace of the bicycles just a bit. 15 seconds more. Maybe we speed it up even more. Good, finish it. Five, four, three, two. Knees squeeze again. We're gonna roll up. Find that stability, however long it takes you. And then little pulses. In, 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 in. Really good. Stick with it. I see you. Making sure you can see us both. 15 seconds more. Pull the knees into the chest. Come on, finish. Five, four, three, two, and one. Flipping it to that low leg booty. Maybe we try to pick that pace up as well. Reaching the hip almost to the floor, but still making that big semicircle as you lift up and over. Breathing through this still. We got five seconds. Four, three, two. We're gonna flip onto the back one final time. This time, almost like a bicycle, only the legs are straight. We're doing a twisting scissor. The legs do not have to go super wide. Your scissor can be quite small. So you really have to protect your lower back on this one. You wanna feel a nice flat press of the whole spine on the floor. You can keep your legs as straight as possible. And as you move through it, just see how challenging you can make it by still keeping it safe. Less than 30 seconds to go. The chest is lifted, the chin is lifted, and you're still keeping that twist. These are challenging. They're not easy. You can also just keep the chest lifted and just do the light portion. Plenty of options, maybe head on the floor. You've got it. Let's speed up the finish. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Whew. You take your feet to the floor. Do a little windshield wiper here. Open, close the knees. And then we're just gonna open the knees, push the soles of the feet together. Just breathe here for a second. And then we're just gonna take it up. Find our way all the way up. Maybe just get a quick sip of water. And then we're on to the last part of the workout. If you know, then you know. And if you don't, I'll explain. Last three minutes of class. We're gonna pick three exercises that we've already done during today's workout. Not a warm up exercise. Anything else, fair game. We're gonna do each exercise for a minute. One minute, one minute, one minute. Done. Just like the power moves at the end of each block, a last push. Since we're live now, I'm gonna ask you maybe what exercises you wanna do. Curtsy or the hop hop, okay? Anyone else wanna chat an exercise? Otherwise, Amanda and I pick. Might be good for Amanda, but I don't know about me. All right, no one? All right, that's it. What do you want, Amanda? I like the hop hop. Okay. I also like Okay. Both of the hops we got. So we'll start with 30 seconds hopping on the right, 30 seconds hopping on the left. Into hop hop runner. And the last one, suicide burpees to finish it. Yay. Okay, so. Then, this is our last run. Whatever you've got left, this is where you use it. So we're on to it. Start a little shuffle or jog. We're going for it. We got about 10 seconds and we get into it. Last three minutes of work. Five, four, three. Right leg, forward back, here we go, 30 seconds. We go for speed here. 15 seconds on this same leg. Woo, feeling that burn in the calves and thighs. Five, four, three, two, switching. Here we go. Keep that same pace. Stay in it. Woo! 15 seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two. Get 
that hop, hop runner. I'm going to give Amanda all the space for this one. Nice. Remember that lean and hold. And then once you hold, right over to the other side. It is your last two minutes of work, so there's no time to waste. Every last ounce of energy right there. All that lateral movement as well. Keeping it up. Still 30 seconds left. That means we're halfway there. 90 seconds till we're done and pulling down. Maybe you travel more distance, move a little quicker, she's killing it. A lot of stability there. Last 15, we finish. Suicide burpees. 60 seconds. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, here we go. Last 60. It looks so fun. I want to keep the distance safe. Too bad for me. <laughs> to let her have it all. Nice. Side to side moving. Turning and then burpee. Woo! There's last 60 seconds. Meant to push you. Try not to stop. You can run in place for a little longer if you need to. You have the last 30 seconds right here. This is it. No time to stop now. Move it quicker. Down, quicker. Down. Easier said than done. Okay, last 15 seconds right here. This is it. It's go time. Woo! Getting dizzy yet. Five seconds. Finish it. Three, two, one. It's done. Awesome. Woo! Getting crazy. We made it. Take a second. Get some water. Come on, pull it down. So, you can take your mat out. I'm just going to come down to the floor. We're going to start in child's pose, just reaching the hips back, arms forward. Couple big breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's do two more of these. Good, last one. Hands come under the chest. We're gonna lift the hips into the air down the dog. Head's gonna drop through the arms, hips lift into the air. Then we're just gonna lift the right leg into the air and fold the right leg in front of the chest. You can take it down to the forearms if you can. You can also reach as far out as you can. Again, three breaths here. Last inhale, exhale. Walking the hands under the chest. We're gonna stretch the quads down here by bending your back leg, reaching back with your left hand to grab the left leg. Just gonna twist forward again towards your right hand. Pull your left heel towards your hip. If you can, reach back with both hands so you can take that stretch with you. Not, no worries. Okay, releasing. Hands back on the floor. Back to down dog. We're gonna take one breath with both feet on the floor. Then the left leg lifts up. Left leg folds under the chest. Right leg extends. Forearms to the floor. Or reaching out long. Three breaths here. Last breath. Hands come back under the chest. Back leg bends, reaching the right leg to the back of the foot, to four, heel to hip. Maybe both hands. All right. Both hands back down, releasing the foot. We're going to come up and walk the hands to the feet. We're going to leave this fold here, feet under the hips. Maybe hand touch the elbows and take a little sway as the head relaxes to the floor. Take it to the center, we'll let the arms hang. Give the head a slow forward back rock. Side to side. 
And then we're going to let the head hang as we slow roll through the spine. Nice work. Arms reach up overhead. Fingers clasped together. I'm just going to round the spine. The chin draws to the chest. The shoulder blades separate behind you. Palms come up to the ceiling. Reach here. And hands reach behind you. Fingers together. Chest comes forward. Four more big breath in out. Slowly release. Let's finish with our four breaths. Big inhale as you reach the arms up. Big open mouth. Exhale as you lower it. Last one. You guys come and touch above the head. Big exhale as you pull the hands down to your heart, giving yourself a big collapse. And an air high five to finish. Well done. Good job. Proud of you. Stick with it. See you soon.